Hello and welcome everybody. In this video we're going to show you how to scale the Omega OMCP Volt 101A data logger to read PSI. For this setup you'll need the following items. A Windows PC running Omega's OMCP data logger software. An OMCP IFC 200 interface module and included USB and 3.5mm mini phone cable. And of course here's our data logger, the OMCP Volt 101A. First, if you aren't already running Omega's OMCP data logger software, you'll need to download and install it. Go to www.omega.com, then scroll down to Quick Links and click on Software. Locate Data Acquisition and click View Software. Click on the OMCP folder, then select the latest version of Omega Installer and install it. Once it's installed, you can launch the program. Now we'll connect the USB adapter to the OMCP IFC 200 interface. Then run the 3.5mm mini phone cable from the data logger to the interface. And plug the USB cable into the USB port on the computer. Now if you look under a device, you can see the OMCP right here in yellow. Here's your device ID, model number, serial number, and you'll notice that the status says stopped. That's because it hasn't been assigned an engineering unit. For this demonstration, let's say we have a pressure transducer connected to the data logger with a voltage output of 0 to 5 volts being equal to 0 to 1000 PSI. That means instead of showing volts, we want this logger to give us PSI. To do that, we'll click on engineering units and this pop-up window will open. Here you can select the reference unit, in this case it's volts, and below that you'll see the destination unit drop-down menu. And since we're using a pressure transducer, we'll open that up and scroll down to select PSI gauge. Now set the low scale point. I'm setting that to zero since our pressure transducer has zero to five volt output. And naturally the high scale point will be five volts. And the PSI equivalent on the high scale is 1000 PSI. And now that we have that information punched in, we can give this engineering unit a name. So I'll just call this tank pressure. Click save and you'll see it appear in the saved list on the left side of the engineering unit's window. Now to apply the saved engineering unit to the data logger, we'll right click on the data logger here in yellow. A drop down menu appears and click on apply engineering unit. Then you'll need to confirm unit settings. This looks good so far, so now I'll click right and now we get another pop-up menu asking us if we want to reset the device. Click yes to that and now it's applying the engineering unit. Once it's complete, click done and there you have it, our logger is ready to read PSI. Now to verify that the engineering unit has been applied, we can do a real-time start by clicking this green play button on the upper left side of the window. That will open the real-time setup window. I'm just going to set the reading interval to 2 seconds and click start. Now we can see the graph is logging PSI in real time. We're just seeing zeros here since we don't actually have a transducer in our system. We can also click on generate to view a data table with all our readings as well. And there you have it. If you still have questions, feel free to call or chat online at omega.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.